Hello, I want to talk about putting KML files into the Platinum and some of the things we can do with that. We can make a mission, we can make a project, and we can also select the order of the spray. So let's go. Here I have some polygons that I want to put in a mission. And I have a folder named Mike that will be my mission folder. And you see the polygons. And these two polygons I want to make into a project. So I will right click on Mike and add a folder. I'll name the folder P1, but it doesn't matter what the name is. And OK. And in that folder, I want to put a path. So I'll right click on the folder and add path. Again, it doesn't matter what the name is. And I'll check the color is red, and I've made the width at 10, which is a pretty good size. In the description, I want to put something. It doesn't matter what it is, just so that the arrow turns to a hand when I hover over the path. And I'll left click on the polygon, and left click again. That shows me a project, and say OK. Now I have to put the polygons in the folder uh, with the path. So I'll right click on the polygon and cut it and paste it on the path. That puts it in a folder. And the other polygon I will cut it and paste it on the path. So both polygons are now in the project folder. And close it up just to make it simpler. I will do the same thing to make an exclusion zone and I'm going to make one in this polygon. We'll have to right click on the mic, add a folder. The folder can be named anything, but I'm going to name it 2 dash because it's number 2 in a spray order. And then I'm going to name it P2 just because it's the second project I've made. And I'll say OK. Now I'll right click on that folder and add a polygon. And the code for exclusion is XCL, so I'll name it XCL. And the color is red, uh, about a 3 on the width. Check my points of the exclusion. And once everything is OK, then I'll click on OK. Now, to make this work, they all have to be in the same folder, so uh, I'll right click on the green polygon and cut it and paste it on the exclusion because that's in the folder already. So that puts everything in the folder and I'll close it up to make it look a little nicer. So we want to select the spray order number one, number two, and number three. Now I've already renamed the polygons to represent that. So what I'll do is rearrange them in the menu and I'll take number two and drop it on number one. And then, uh, as you see, we have one, two, and three. And that order will stay for the platinum. And to save these files to the USB, we'll right click on mic, go to Save Place As, check your address if it's good, and click Save. This is what the file looks like on the USB drive and we'll go ahead and load it into the Platinum. So to do that, we'll turn the gear Platinum on and it'll take just a little bit for it to boot up. And once it boots, we'll so we'll go to File Manager and we'll insert the USB stick and it says do not remove and we'll say OK and we'll select Mike and I want to select Robert as well I'll copy them over to the other side and I just want to confirm that they actually are there so there's Mike and Robert and we can exit out and we'll go to training 
and application, old area, and select mic, OK. And here you can see the, I'll zoom out, you can see the areas, and we can use the next area key to advance through the areas, and that would be the third one right there. And also we can go into the map mode, and we can advance through the areas again to check the grid lines. And also we can use the reverse heading key. And the next heading key. And the best heading key. I'm going to exit out and I will load in two groups, Mike and Robert. So we'll select Mike. She has number one and two for Robert. OK. And I'm in the Mike group, and so to advance to the Robert, I'll have to hit the next area key, which is on page two. Next area. And that takes me over to the Robert group. And then I have to use the next zone to advance through the spray polygons. So in summary, if you have one group of polygons, you can use next area or next zone to advance through the polygons. But if you have more than one group of polygons, you'll have to use the next area key to go from one group to another. And you'll have to use the next zone to advance through the spray zones in a group. That's it for today. Thank you very much.